So between this week and next week, my suggestion or my homework to you is to be aware and be alert of any time you really need something, you're in a situation that you need something to happen, not that something you want to happen. And then see how that thing happens and appears to you. Just check this out. Also, you can examine the moments in your life that you were stuck somewhere desperately and you needed help and help arrived. So check that out. Just examine it with yourself. Take a look at it. Be aware of it. Be conscious of it this week and consciously examine it. And you will be amazed. You will see that when you let go, and you're not really struggling to make something happen, you surrender to it, how the flow of life present that thing to you, whatever that is. Whatever it is, as simple as a very normal thing, um, you're looking for a parking spot and you're desperate and all of a sudden a parking spot opens up and you park your car. From very simple things to more complicated things and see how they happen. And the more you let go, the easier the flow is. And you notice it and you connect to it and you realize that you're a part of this flow. So that's my homework to you. We're gonna do the next Academy next week. This one is where um, next Wednesday, uh, same time. We're also having a shamanic healing circle that's gonna be on uh, Thursday, July 23rd. Um, if you want to register for it, go ahead and go to my website, zaratustra.tv and uh, go on the calendar, click on the calendar, you will see it. That's where the calendar of uh, our events uh, located. And also we're going to do the Ascension to Fifth Dimension workshop, which is going to be on 25th and 26th of July. And I uh, also have mentioned that before, I designed the life training program. It's a VIP one-on-one -on -one training program that I've des designed for those of you who want to really commit on your spiritual path and really want to go deep and get over the hump. And this is a four month program. So we meet one and a half hour once a week and I work with you and I take you through various stages and help you to achieve your spiritual goals. All right, so let's see if anybody has any questions. If you do, uh, I don't know how to open the chat box. I don't know if it is open. Uh, Let's see. Hilda, can you type something in there? Is it working if you want to send me a chat message? Amir's not, no, that's closed. Okay, we closed that. So those of you, I can see you on the camera. You can wave at me and I'll unmute you. The reason we have shut down the chat box and as well as I muted everybody is because of this fellow who's deeply in love with me and he likes to come on on our broadcast and make comments. So, so we have, that's why we have shut it everybody down. But, so I decided that in this way, um, if I see you, I know you, you wave at me, I, I will unmute you and we can talk. Sometimes we open the chat box, Amir's not around, I don't know how to open it up, so we leave it like this. Um, looks like nobody has a question. Oh yeah, all right. 
All right, Sharon, I'm trying to unmute you. All right. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Zarathustra. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Um, nice, to nice to see you too. Thank you. So if everything takes care of itself, why is there so much suffering? And, you know, I guess, you know, I, I looked at what you said and you talked about the apparent life takes care of itself. Is it that, are you suggesting that what we see and what we consider to be our life and this existence on this planet isn't real because you know i work in healthcare and there's a tremendous amount of suffering and um and things don't take care of themselves a lot of the time and um so when can you, when you that? say when you say things don't care of themselves a lot of the time what do you mean by that uh, let's let's get clear about that part so we're on the same page. All right. So let's say a patient, a person who just has a bad outcome from a procedure, right? From a surgery or an operation right. or whatever it is. Um, or yeah, young people who suffer tremendous, okay, Let terrible just, things that happen. Right. right. So somebody went for a surgery and they had a bad surgery, correct? Yeah, or a bad outcome, yes. Bad outcome. And yeah. What, happen what happens after that? Oh, then they need, you know, they come home with 40 medications. It it's a vicious cycle. And then they need another surgery and then they're more debilitated and there's more medication and there's nobody who can lift them up. They're the, the spouse is at home. I mean, it's just, it's just one challenge after another right one challenge after the other so the the so you're saying that if somebody goes to the surgery and they come out this the results of the surgery has to be positive i'm it, it has I'm, to be it has to be the way we want it to be well, you said that things take care of themselves. Yeah, I, I say things take care of themselves. That means some trust, goes in. trust that it's going to be okay. Yeah, trusting that it's going to be taken care of. It's going to be taken care of one way or the other. Again, we go into this thing because we're conditioned to believe in a certain outcome. Correct. Yeah. When you examine your mind, the mind is attached into having an outcome to be the way we want it to be. Correct. And that is very different than what life does. So when the outcome is not the way we want it to be, then it's an unfortunate thing. Existence has a different agenda. Existence is going to do what it wants to do. So Correct. when we recognize Correct. this, okay, Sharon, if you recognize this part, which is very important, if you're able to not be attached to any kind of outcome, any results, if you have no attachments to it, and you're surrendered to whatever existence comes up with it, then suffering is deleted. You cannot suffer when your mind is not attached to an outcome, when it's not invested in some kind of results. 